In this video, I will try to find out if the energy consumption that a Tesla shows in the dashboard is actually the real energy consumption. Now, to find out if the energy usage showed in the dashboard is the real total energy usage, I have used my data logger. And I drove the car from zero to no, from 100 to 0 percent and now I have charged the car. You can see here that the start of uh, the state of, uh, of the battery was 0 percent or just one kilometer. And I have now charged to 99 percent, so that is almost 100. But if this was the real energy usage the six to nine point nine kilowatt hours, then I would only have charged six to nine point nine kilowatt hours. But I have actually charged seventy seven and a little bit more. So, with a little calculation, um, you can just you can just see how many percent is the sixty nine point nine of the seventy seven, and then. Do a little bit of ninja tricks and then you will find out that the actual energy consumption of uh, the car in uh, this situation for me was 10% higher. So why is this? That's a bit strange. Well that's because um, I have spoken to Tesla about this because I actually called them uh, when I had drove uh, from Denmark to Germany 580 kilometers in one charge and the car showed that I have used 72 kilowatt hours um, all in all and I thought that was that was too too little um, and then they told me that uh, what uh, the car shows in the the instrument panel is actually only uh, the energy that you use for driving so the car uses more energy all in all because you also use energy on the uh, lights and uh, music and uh, the heating system and uh, I have showed you now that you, that usage in uh, this case for me was uh, 10% so if you want to compare the Tesla's energy total energy consumption with the um, fossil cars petrol and diesel cars then you actually have to add 10% to what it shows in the instrument panel.